recording, recording, recording. Okay. A lot of cameras here, a lot of microphone, a lot of equipment. Just gotta double check everything. Now, uh, welcome back to a video. And uh, this one's gonna be for K through one. Now, if you're not K through one, not a big deal. If you guys wanna watch it anyways, cause you wanna see my beautiful face, that's okay with me. So, um, this book is gonna be called Beautiful Oops. If you guys can see that, it looks great. It's a very easy book. I found this on Amazon. If you guys wanna check it out, you can. Um, this book is fabulous and it's really thick and it has a lot of quirks to it. So uh, let's get through it. So this one says, Beautiful Oops. Now by Barney Salzberg. So when you open the book, beautiful oops. Oops, a torn piece of paper. Can you guys see it? My bad. <laughs> Can you guys see it now? Right. Oops, a torn piece of paper. It's just the beginning. Oh, look at that. It's an alligator. Check that out. Really cool. All right, let's check another one. Every spill. What's going on here? Oh, has lots. Oh, oh, and lots of possibilities. Oh, look at that! It's an elephant, and then it's like uh, two birds and uh, like a little a couple baby birds, and uh, a couple dogs sleeping on each other. It's kind of cool. I like that. Every spill has something. So we could do something like that as an art project. It could be kind of cool and creative like that. Uh, bent paper. So this corner's bent. Pen paper. <laughs> That's kind of funny. It's a little bird. Pen paper. Oh, it's something to celebrate. It's a, it's a, it's penguins. That's awesome. Check that out. All right. Uh, a little drip of paint. Let your imagination run wild. Check that out. That is pretty cool. <laughs> All right. A scrap of paper. Okay. <laughs> it's a cutout of a dog. Could be fun to play with. Oh, that's kind of cute. A smudge and a smear. Ooh. Can make magic appear. <laughs> that's so cool. <laughs> Look at the nose. Oh, that's cool. The fish. Really creative. Really creative. Okay. Next page. These are thick. Okay. A stain. Speaking of stain. Got my coffee. A stain has potential if you play with its shape. <laughs> That's kind of neat. Maybe we'll make that. Holes in your paper. Huh. Exploring. Our, okay, so holes in your paper exploring are worth exploring. <laughs> Oh, that's kind of cool. Check that out. I mean, I don't know how to make this, but that's pretty neat. <laughs> that's really cool. Oh, that's a thick page. All right. When you think you have made a, a mistake, so it looks like they scribbled it out. Oops. Think of it as an, an opportunity to make something. Let's see. This is a very interesting book, how to open stuff. Make something beautiful. Oh, that's kind of cute. That's a really cool book. Wow, I really like this book, it's really interactive. Uh, I think that's like my, my fifth time reading it. I don't know why, it always just surprises me every single time. But um, let's go through this and see what we can create. So I have a couple sheets of paper and what I want you guys to do is create something based off of one of these pages. So let me just demonstrate uh, what stuff you can do. So the first one, oops, a torn piece of paper. So what I'm gonna do, Tear paper, tear paper, bah. torn piece of paper. Can you guys see that tear? I might have to find a piece of color paper so you guys can see the contrast. So if I put this board underneath, because my table is white, so you can't really see it, but can you guys see the rip better like this? All right there, rip paper. So what I'm gonna do is try to figure out what to do with it. So um, the obvious choice is a mouth. Let's see, what else, what else do you guys see? I see lightning. Be like a lightning spark, a lightning strike. Hmm. Let's see. Kindergarten and first grade. I'm gonna rip it up a little bit more. Ta-da! All right. Rip over here and rip over here. And to make it more interesting, I'm gonna try to curl the edges a little bit, curl them out like that. 
So with that done, I'm gonna take a random marker. You can use a pen, pencil. Um, I'm just gonna use a marker because that's what I feel comfortable with. I'm gonna make the number six like this, number six. And if you guys don't know, that's gonna be the nostril. Nostril for whatever I'm making. So I'm just gonna go up, around, nostril, there you go. Maybe I'll make a, a football shape for the eye. Then I'll just do a letter C on the inside. Ta-da, there's the eye. Maybe I shall go around. Down here, I should make the bottom of its jaw. Loop around it like that. Ooh, it's kind of looking kind of cool. Really cool. And then all I'm gonna do is maybe create the neck portion, the body, and then the head portion. And I'm gonna leave a little gap there because I think I have an idea of what I wanna do. I'm just gonna give it a quick, uh, it's gonna be misplaced, but whatever. Quick horn. There you go. Quick horn, and then maybe a bottom portion for the body. So, quick and easy. Wasn't that pretty cool? So, hope you guys liked that one. So, let's take a look at another page. I respill. I really don't want to spill anything on my table right now, so I'm sure your parents don't want to do that either. So, if you want to do this uh, version of something every spill, you can if you want. I'm not going to. So, I'm not going to force you guys to. Let's not do that. Bent paper. That seems more up our alley. So, bent paper can turn into something like this. So, let's see what I can do with that. You guys only got to do one of these. I'll do as much as I can. So, <laughs> what if I went like this? What if I do like a new fold? Hmm. Couple folds. Aha! Uh -huh. I'm seeing something already. Okay. You guys probably think it's a random piece of paper, but I see something already. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you what I see. So what I see is this. See this is the correct color? Yeah, close enough. Alright, so I'm gonna make this whole entire triangle brown. And uh, if you're ever drawing on a surface, like a kitchen counter or like coffee table and you really shouldn't get marker on it, put something underneath your paper. That way you don't ruin uh, something that should not be ruined and something that will probably won't come off with marker or anything like that. So don't do that. <laughs> All right. So what I just did, I made these two triangles brown. Who can guess what this is going to be? Let's see. All right. Next one. This is called brick red. Not what I want. What does do? Khaki. Let's see if khaki will do it. Ugh, I don't like this color already. <laughs> I thought, too late now, too late now. All right. Camel. Camel. Let's see. If you guys are wondering, these are uh, Glick Studio Art Markers. They're pricey, don't get them. <laughs> Unless you do art for a living. Uh, all right, let's see. Um, Right, mouth is all done. And next up, let's do some cute eyes for this. If you guessed it, dog. All right, let's do one black eye right here, one over here, and then let's see, let's give it. Let's give it mint green eyes. Kind of cool. Watch off. All right. Almost done. Mr. Mail's almost done. All right. Broad marker. Saw this fold right there. Saw this fold right here. And then close it up. Just gonna add a little fur on the front. Maybe one foot right there. One foot right there, and then back feet, and then maybe a tail. Ta da! Feel a little fur on top. <laughs> Ta da! Dog! Based off of this page on this book. So that's that project. Let's move on to the next page. I think our best option is to do um, a scrap of paper can 
be fun to play with. So we'll go with that. So we're going to use this back panel as our, as our scene. And then we'll use this scrap piece of paper. Oh, <laughs> look at that. One piece of paper left. Let's make a random shape over here. And here I go. Okay. All right, I got two random shapes. Uh, this is too small, so I'm not gonna use this one. So we got the beach over here. The beach is the negative space right here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create some water and some waves here. And uh, I'm gonna do some light blue for the clouds. Clouds, maybe a sun here or there. I'll do a bright sun. Ta-da! Well, it's kind of like a face, kind of. You guys see the face? Like the two eyes and like the mouth. That's not what I want. But anyways, <laughs> let's see what I can do. All right, maybe with this finished off with that, I can create some sort of boat. Unless I use the side, let's use the chisel side. Sailboat. Kind of cool. Maybe a fin. It's a terrible fin, but you guys get the point. So anyways, that's what I see. Um, otherwise, I could have just turned it over and made like mountains, but since I use marker, it bleeds through. So again, like I said, make sure you have something underneath your surface so you don't ruin any countertops, kitchen tables, or coffee tables at your house. So um, let me just show you what we did so far with K through one, and uh, we'll go from there. So over here we have um, some folded dog ears, really cool. We got this uh, little uh, abstract art of some ocean, kind of cool. And then the first thing that we did was this uh, creature. I don't know what it is, could be a dragon, I don't know. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm gonna move on to second, third grade. If you guys wanna join me there, you can. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy this project. See you guys next time.